Okay, now in this video, to, you're going to learn what is logic, what is an argument, what is a premise, and what is a conclusion. Okay, logic. What is logic? Logic is the science used to evaluate an argument. If you want to win arguments, if you do not want to be deceived by bad arguments, you want to be able to recognize a good argument from a bad argument, and you want to be an expert at it, you're going to need to know what logic is. It's simple to learn, it's quite enjoyable to learn, and you're going to love learning about arguments, the science used to evaluate an argument. You'll be an expert at evaluating arguments. Now, what is an argument? Now, many people may think that an argument is one person yelling at another person. However, this idea is incorrect. It doesn't matter if this person is yelling at this person, saying, in my opinion, you're just a lazy bum. You don't take out the garbage enough, and you don't walk the dog enough. And this person says this one, oh yeah, well, I'd like to warn you to stop yelling at me. Okay, that's not an argument. This person is just giving this person their opinion, and this person is warning this person. They may be doing so in a loud tone, but it doesn't mean they're in an argument. What an argument actually is, is words that are intended to prove a point. Now, it doesn't matter how loud you say it, how soft you say it. If you use your words with the intention to prove something, then you are you have given an argument. For instance, if this person says, Honey, you don't take out the garbage enough because the garbage piles up. I've put a video camera in the kitchen and monitored the trash, how long it goes out. Uh, average time to take out the garbage is once every 24 hours, and the garbage has not been taken out in 48 hours. Therefore, you do not take out the garbage enough. Now she would have put forth an argument because her words that she gave are intended to prove the point that the husband does not take out the garbage enough. That is an argument. Okay, so an argument are words that are used to prove a point. If somebody's using words to communicate something with the intention of proving a point, that is now an argument. Okay. Next, we're going to learn what a premise is, okay? So we learned what logic is. It's the science of evaluating arguments. And arguments are words that are used to prove a point. And now we're going to go into premise and conclusion. Follow me here now. Premises. A premise is evidence in the argument. Evidence to prove the point. So an, an argument can be broken down into two pieces. So all these words that are used to prove the point can be dissected and taken apart and can be put into two categories. That is the categories of the premise and the conclusion. So you have all the, the words in the argument. You can dissect them and separate them into two categories, the premises and the conclusion. That's your first step in evaluating an argument, the first step in the science of evaluating the argument. So the first step, find out separate the argument from premise and conclusion okay so the premises is the evidence that is used to prove the point now the point is the conclusion so the conclusion you don't take out the garbage enough the premises videotaped the garbage being taken out national averages says once every 24 hours etc etc so you get closer and closer and then bam the conclusion is the point so premises is the evidence that is used, the reasons to conclude, you know, the conclusion. Okay, so you've learned what logic is. Logic is the science of evaluating an argument. An argument is a group of words that are communicated with the intention to prove a point. Now, in these group of words, you can dissect and separate into two categories, the premises and the conclusion. Okay, and there's usually only one conclusion, 
and several premises. So there's one point and several reasons that that's the point. So the first step is identifying these two things in the argument. Now, one way to identify these things is to look for key words or indicators. So if you want to separate and dissect an argument, look for the premises, look for the key words or the premise indicators like because, as, since, seeing that. So because, for instance, honey, you do not take out the garbage enough because the garbage is piling up, because it's been more than two days and the garbage has not been taken out, because I've been watching you on a video camera, because the national average garbage being taken out is 20, every 24 hours, etc., etc. So every time you see the word because, you know that a premise is probably going to follow next. Or since. I know that you do not take out the garbage enough since it's piling up. I know you don't take it out enough because, because or since the national average is once every 24 hours or seeing that. So keep your eye out for these key words, uh, premise key words. That'll help you dissect the argument. So because, for this reason, since, seeing that, as, and there are other premise indicators as well. And you will learn all this in due time. Just have, no, don't worry about it. It'll all come together here shortly. Next are the conclusion indicators. When dissecting the argument, you'll look for premise and conclusion. That's the first step. Conclusion indicators are words like therefore, wherefore, so on, thus, and hence. For instance, the garbage is piling up. You haven't taken it out in 24 hours. I've been watching you on video camera. Therefore... You do not take out the garbage enough. Or the garbage is piling up, video cameras, see you don't take out the garbage. So, you do not take out the garbage enough. So if you see one of these words, you probably know that a conclusion is coming next. Okay, so let's use it on this. So say you're trying to get to this point in an argument. Evidence number one, evidence number two, Evidence number three, therefore, boom, the conclusion. Okay, or you can look at the premise as reason. Reason number one, reason number two, reason number three, therefore, boom, conclusion. Let's try it with so. There's this reason, this reason, this reason, so, boom, conclusion. You do not take out the garbage enough. So separating premises from conclusion, watch for the key words will help you dissect the argument. Repetition is good for learning. Okay, we've learned logic. This is what this whole video series is going to be about logic. Logic is the science that is used to evaluate arguments. And you watch this video series, you're going to be a expert at evaluating arguments. It's going to come after a while just natural to you. So it's the science of evaluating arguments. An argument is a group of words that is intended to prove a point. Now, an argument is con contains a premises and a conclusion. Now, what is a premise? Yes, that's right. A premise is evidence or reasons for the conclusion or the point that you're trying to prove. The conclusion is the point you're trying to prove, and the premises is the reasons to conclude that point. Okay, we're going to be closing now and starting the next video. One last note is, why is it so important to learn logic? Well, for several reasons. There are many benefits in studying logic. But one of the main reasons is it will provide you with a defense against deception, lies, and errors that attack the foundations of truth. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.